It's so great to see you all today. I wanted to remind you of a story that you may have heard before, just one part of the story. It's a story of um, Hansel and Gretel. Do you remember that story? You know that story? <laughs> Do you all remember that story? You may remember the part of the story where Hansel and Gretel are walking in the woods and they're afraid that they're not going to be able to find their way home. So do you remember what they leave on the path? So breadcrumbs, yeah, like this, right? Breadcrumbs. And what happens to those breadcrumbs when they try to turn around and find their way back home? The birds eat them up like that, right? See the birds eating the breadcrumbs? Oh, and so they then they were really lost, weren't they? they? Here's what happened afterwards. They couldn't find their way back. And the story goes on from there. But they needed something to help them find their way that birds can't eat. Something that doesn't dissolve, something that doesn't evaporate, something that's not temporary, something that's more permanent. You know, for what? Pebbles? Well, even pebbles. Somebody could move those pebbles. You know, for centuries there's been a way that people have found their way that is very reliable. Stars, that's right, one star in particular. Which star would that be? The star of Bethlehem. The star of Bethlehem, yes. <laughs> Which some people believe was this star. Do you know what star this is? A wishing star? Yes, you can wish on this star. This is called the Northern Star. And when you can find the Northern Star, which gleams so brightly at, in the night sky, if you can find that star, you can find the way north. And if you know that your home is north, south, east, or west, it can help you go in the right direction. Sometimes we say when people have a strong sense of right and wrong and direction in their lives that they have a Northern Star that tells them how to go. I think people of faith, like you and me, we have a northern star. And it helps us find the way when we don't know, should we do this, or should we do that, or should we go here, or should we go there? Our northern star is the love of God. The Bible says love never ends. And so it's something that the birds can't eat. It's something that can't evaporate. It's something that can help us make decisions. Whenever we're faced with a decision and need to decide which way do we go, we can ask ourselves, what would love have me do? For people of faith, that's our northern star. And so I hope you'll take that home with you today and keep it in your heart because you can have a northern star inside your heart and so it's called a compass an inner compass. You know, a compass is an instrument that shows you which way is north. So if you can't find the northern star, if there are clouds in the sky, if you have a compass, and if you have an iPhone, you have a compass, it can help you find the way. I've got a compass for each of you to take home with you, to remind you of that northern star that is ours as people of faith. And I hope that you will have an inner compass in your heart that is the love of God. Let's say a prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for this northern star that never changes, never ends. It is always there guiding us through the maze that life so often is. Help us to consult that inner compass of love and may it be our northern star in the days that lie ahead. Amen. Okay, so